now. I'm excited to meet with you to explore the night sky through some messy art projects. For the first project, you're going to need three items. First, you need a piece of paper. A dark color is great, like black or blue. We also need some school glue, squeezable. And lastly, salt. Did I mention that we are doing a salt art project? You need salt. Using your school glue, you're going to make a beautiful picture of our night sky. For the second step, you're going to find your salt and you're either going to want to step outside for this or find a cookie sheet or another kind of baking pan. I have one of my old cookie sheets. Take your salt and sprinkle it across your project. And then shake your paper around so all the glue spots are covered with salt. Now, after you've given your picture some time to dry, you can either decide, A, I'm happy with my picture the way it looks, and I'm done. Or you can move on to the next step. For the next step, you're going to need three items again. Number one, watercolors. And you'll also need a cup of water and a paintbrush. All right, I'm going to give you a moment to find those items. All right, now that you've found your items, you're gonna get your paintbrush extra wet and dab it in the color you'd like to use and then dab it on top of the salt. done, you'll have a vibrant night sky. For our next project, we're going to zoom into the night sky and take a closer look at the pictures in the stars. Do you see pictures when you look at the stars? Well, you may be looking at constellations. In fact, we have 88 constellations in our night sky. Constellations are groups of stars that look like an animal or an object or even a mythological person or creature. For our project today, we are going to create some constellation models. And you're going to need two items, toothpicks and marshmallows. Now, if you don't have any toothpicks, you can always go outside and find some sticks. They work well too. Do you recognize this W-shaped constellation? Well, this constellation is also known as Cassiopeia. And Cassiopeia was a beautiful queen in Ethiopia, Africa. And she boasted that she was more beautiful than the sea nymphs. And as you can imagine, the sea nymphs weren't very happy to hear that. And they went and told the king of the sea, Poseidon. And Poseidon tossed Cassiopeia up into the stars. And there she dwells. And if you can kind of see it, that bottom part is her leg. And this upper bit is her arm reaching up and brushing her hair. Now here's another constellation that you may recognize. Does that look familiar? 
it's known as the Big Dipper. Actually, the Big Dipper is not a constellation. It's part of a constellation. It's part of the constellation called Ursa Major, which means Big Bear, basically. Do you see the bear? The Big Dipper, actually, this is the flank or backside of the bear, and the handle of the Big Dipper is actually the tail of Ursa Major, or the Big Bear. There are Native American legends that say that the square, the dipping part of the Big Dipper is the bear, and that the three stars, or as you can see, marshmallows of the handle behind, are three warriors. You can find out more about the stars by visiting krl.org and checking out our electronic books or ebooks. We have several that may be of interest to you, from very basic ones, Star, Star, Stars by Bob Barner, up to The Stars, and also Astrophysics for Young People in a Hurry. So there's just three of many books about stars that you can borrow and read on your own time. For your challenge, we'd like you to find constellations in the night sky. How many can you find? Do you know the story behind one of them? Or would you like to make one up? We want to hear it. And if you want to create a salt art project to accompany your story, or even a marshmallow and stick model of the constellation, that would be awesome.